Alright, now that I'm actually back, hopefully this time slightly longer than three minutes, uh, let's just move on through here where I was almost certain this would basically close right behind me. It has that ominous feel of, gee, point of no return perhaps? Perhaps. Also, ooh. I did find a number of different uh, notes that I suppose I could read at the moment. <clears throat> On bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's house has many rooms, and as for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. And the found documents. Uh, I don't remember if I ever read these exactly. I think I did. So, I'm just going to read these, well, this one at least. December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor, the distinguished Professor A. He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. But I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me. To Darf and Weedle and my dear sir, and but you must still grieve, and perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse? That would simply poke. The hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the, tri the tripery. See whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging through the innards of clumsily vivisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of his golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack. Or his sons, at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now. And we bring their toys to them. I will let you interpret that as you will. This other song... Or this is actually a song, I believe. That I am terrible at singing, but, uh... Old Sally in the doll's cottager. Oh, she come us sniffling by around your door with her pretty apron right down to the hoof and and her ringlets are fair and her eyes are china blue like a half buried hand in the wintry snow like a hand in the wintry snow and she'll beg you for apples through the window ajar her face be all hidden but her eyes shine a flame and though you'll be tempted her bosom so fair she'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart oh She'll catch you and eat you out your heart. So look to your manners. Come the eve of the year. The Sally come calling for apples, my dear. And know that some doors never should open wide. Take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her pios. And warm Sally's beastly insides. Ugh. You know, interesting story rhyme. That I would definitely tell my kids. Yep, sure. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> Moving on. I am surprised. It didn't actually slam shut as soon as I walked through the door. I must have been mistaken, huh? <laughs> wow, I must have really been mistaken. Is this. Are these. Wait, is this. This is the same way I. Oh! Okay, yeah. These are the places with the valves I was talking about, and the sledgehammers, and the, there's not a sledgehammer over here, but this was a chair I stuck between the bars because I felt like it. Right, he had to turn these to the to the way the arrow was pointing, I believe. It's just, you know, you know, one of those little puzzles. It's just an introductory puzzle. It's just a little baby puzzle. It's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. Oh, the catchy. Ugh. They walked through a solid door. Okay. I can't pull that down. All right, cool. Yep. I'm just gonna have to go through a brick. No, wait. It's just a trapdoor. Huh. Ugh. 
in my face every time and wait what what oh oh am I actually outside like I was never here huh am I am I actually on the street now oh sweet oh that must have been that other door I can open and for good reason, I would say. <laughs> okay. I don't think that was a kid that time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a kid. Boy, that is friggin' cool! Oh my gosh, I would just love to drive this thing. Just floor it. Oh gosh, what a what a treat! Oh, that's right. One of my videos that I, where I was just speaking to uh, myself at that point, because <laughs> it was recording. I was mentioning the fact, uh, or a few facts about uh, radiology, and the fact that this game takes place in 1899. Fun fact: X-rays were first discovered by Rotkin in 1895. November 1895, to be exact. And through those years, <laughs> sadly at the time, they had no idea the effects of Rotgen's x-rays. <laughs> the terrible effects it had upon the body. So during these years, in fact, during which this game takes place, a number of people began to suffer, well, rather terrible afflictions. <laughs> Some of which, in fact, included losing fingers and other horrible ways to die uh, <laughs> simply because of this mysterious force. Known later as radiation and radiation poisoning, they finally figured it out. Come and see, Papa. We found an egg. A stone egg. No, no, don't touch that. That's probably really bad and gonna kill you or something. Maybe it's radium. Long story short, eventually, in 19... No, in 1825... Wait, no. Yeah, 1925. The first international... Uh, what was it? The ICUR. The... I take a moment to double check my information here. Oh, uh, yes, the ICRU began to attempt to discover the causes of these mysterious x rays. It was actually first done in the British X ray and Radium Protection Committee, Committee of 1921. And, uh, well, simply put, with all new technologies, <laughs> many mistakes are made. And that is the, the oddest place for a headlight I've ever seen. Right, anyway, moving on, back to the game. In, enough with story time or history with Draku. It's time for more story time with horror and Draku. It's a big difference there. Lovely room. Oh. Okay, I should have seen that one coming. About a mile away, you know. <laughs> I really should have just seen that coming, honestly. Nope, still can't access an inventory. I really don't know how it's going to work. I guess I don't have to worry about the power going out of my lantern, which is terrific, actually, because, well, to be quite honest, that'll really make things so much easier. All right, now that I got my timer back, 
June the 3rd of 1899. I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from the disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if those clean places, so free of humanity's filth, imprinted upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. Fear is what keeps us all in our places, and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of them all. I am sickened, I am ruined, but I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. Ooh, sounds like his trip to the ruins wasn't quite worth it. Still don't quite know what that is, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> Won't be going back there, though. And I knew it. I knew it was going to be a point of no return. I just didn't realize it was going to be in that manner. <laughs> Come on, slow coach. It's this way. Who the heck are you calling me a uh, slow? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'll answer it. Go away, we're busy. At the beep, please leave a message. Ah, fine. The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the floodwaters. Treachery, Mandas. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deeper, Mandas. Through the piston room and into the tunnels, then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can, but you must be swift, my little friend. Right, and in the previous video that I did not quite finish recording, uh, we met this guy. So apparently, I am Mandis, and maybe that's Oswald? I just don't really know. I am still learning that. Tis inconsequential, though. For... This is... Uh... I really can't say what that is. It's a bottle, maybe. Right. It's nice, dark, quiet. Okay, cool. It's gonna be a good place. I hope you... Enjoy dark, quiet, cramped places because... <laughs> you're not gonna be getting the quiet part. And we'll be here for a while. Is that really just... What, what is this... What is this for? It feels like it's something important, but... Not really, at the same time. Shovel, can't grab you. Oh, why did they take away my ability to grab random things? Whatever. Whatever, I say. It must be rats. Still, really, really big rats. Like, not your friendly, like, um, whatever they're called. The I want to say nuggets, but there was something else. I can't quite remember what they were. The, um, capybara? I don't know. Just, just giant rats. Just plopping around, prancing up there. Having a grand old time. That's why I need it. Okay. I'm gonna go back and grab that. Pardon me, game. Just gonna go find that little bottle battery thing. Battery that I just completely ignored and was like, eh, hey, I don't need it. Yep. Let me just keep breaking it. It's a good plan. Yep. Good old sturdy London engineering. Yeah, I'm sure it's supposed to make that little tingling sound. <laughs> get, get, I'd like to replace you, please. While you're still sparking. Because, you know, that's gonna be good. 
Ahem. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay, cool. A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machin machinery my new friend told me of. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Not to madness. Trapped. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone, who seems so close to my own, who seems to know me so well, does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But I do have, but do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth. If it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift, and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to those electrical switches. Whilst the, flu the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun, and the gates shall remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Barrier be darned. Wait, it's already open. What? What gate are you talking? What? Stop. Wispy, are you on the other side of this blasted door? I swear if you are on this side of the door, I will... Ugh. Wispy, now is not the time. Oh, that's what the gate is. Maybe. I don't know. I thought I could just lift this. Look, look you just pulled it up. Darn it, Wispy. Darn it, Wispy! I swear, if you make a guest appearance, I will be very cross with you right now. So these things are everywhere, huh? Great. What? What's around? What? I can turn this. Why would I ever want to... What are you lowering? I don't really know. Cool. I'm just going to keep messing with this until something happens. I need to come back here, don't I? I need to do something with this, don't I? I get the feeling. Alright, let's find out what this does. Did that open a gate up ahead? Or Just this one right here? Darn it, Wispy. Maybe this way. No, this gate. Just this one. Okay. Right, and then I've got to... Okay, getting off the ladder. Getting off the stairs. Getting off the freaking stairs. Okay. Learn my lesson. There's a... Bandaged feet and eyes. Small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. Huh. Alrighty then. Get back up onto the freaking. Oh my goodness. Fine. So, I don't really know why I lowered this, but. Don't you dare break. Can I jump up over? Yes, I can. And I can make progress! Balls to you, barriers of progress. See what I think. Huh. 
Alrighty then. Right, so I'll don't like the sound of whatever's back behind this. No, never mind. I don't even have to find out what it is because it won't even open. Uh, why did I turn on that? Go open up the other door, right? Yeah, probably. And to my left. Yeah, just thunder. <laughs> That's all it is. Just good old fashioned thunder. Nothing to worry about. Well, that sounded bad. Did the power just go out again? Uh. Oh, okay. Thought I saw something again in the corner of my vision. <laughs> it wasn't a person just slinking around the corner there. No, of course not. <laughs> Can't go that way. Can only ascend then. Shut up, rats. And what do you know? It's another. Whoa! What? What just? What? behind me, did it? No? Eh, okay. It's a little too tired for me to even... see what's down there, so, uh, I'm sure it's fine. What just happened? More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. This fellow is running through thorough. Is thorough in his sabotage. Wow, learn to speak. If somewhat repetitive, the stench of those barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. I'll just pop you out just really quick and, uh,. And uh, end it here. Bye for now. I hope you've enjoyed, and hopefully I won't have to worry about these uh, irritating gaps in my playthrough. Bye for now. <laughs>